Last year's WrestleMania was the most surprised I've been at a wrestling events outcome for a long time. I don't know how I didn't see it coming, but for a few moments, I had allowed myself to believe that Cody Rhodes was genuinely going to defeat Roman Reigns. And obviously that wasn't the case, which at the time most wrestling fans weren't best pleased with to say the least. There's a strong argument, however, that over the past year, WWE has proven that it was worth Cody's loss to get to where we are today. There's been a lot of long-term storytelling and great moments that have happened since to build up to a rematch where the stakes are higher than ever before. The general consensus among wrestling fans is that this match is finally it. Roman is finally going to be dethroned and Cody Rhodes is going to finish the story. Whilst that may be the outcome I'm hoping for, I think there's a strong argument as to why actually Cody should lose this rematch and not be champion. Subjectively, I'm hoping for a Cody win, but I thought I'd make the objective case as to why that shouldn't happen. So the first reason is that whilst Roman Reigns has been WWE champion, by the way, I refuse to say the full name for his title. It's just the WWE championship, let's be real. Anyway, whilst Roman has been WWE champion, the WWE has been going through a commercial and creative boom period. The drama between the bloodline and those who have attempted to dethrone Roman has definitely been predictable, but has also always been entertaining. In some ways, it makes sense to stick with what works. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, speaking of bloodline drama, we've literally just introduced The Rock to the bloodline. That's a huge step and could definitely lead to more great moments that would probably hold more significance if the WWE Championship was still around Roman's waist. There's definitely depth to their family feuds yet to be explored, and it'd be a shame if The Rock's involvement was briefer than it could have been. Some fans also feel as if Rock versus Roman would have been a bigger matchup. Again, I personally disagree, but I only disagree because I am a sarcastic mark. But there's no denying that The Rock is a much bigger mainstream star than Cody Rhodes. The Rock blows up ratings every time he makes an appearance, and that effect would only be amplified in a match for the championship at WrestleMania. And my final point is one that is rather subjective, that as much as I love Cody, I still feel like Roman is the bigger star. I hate to admit that, but when I think of the potential WWE and UFC crossovers, that could happen due to the recent merger of the companies, I think Roman Reigns would be better in those situations. At least in terms of mainstream appeal. Saying that, could you imagine if Cody Rhodes took on Sean Strickland? Now that thought pretty much undermines my own final point. Either way, let me know what you think in the comments below. Much love, Muppets.